Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss an important piece of configuration in marketing in Dynamics 365 called as marketing content management. There are three types of concept in marketing, right? One is outbound marketing, event planning, and real time. This managing marketing content is part of outbound marketing. So in the marketing content management, we will see how you can manage the content like images, videos, and the content blocks that can be created inside your Dynamics 365 application and that can be used in other executions, marketing uh, executions, right? Internet marketing or other marketing emails, you can use that content. So to navigate to the marketing content section, go to outbound marketing and click on library first. Library stores everything above the file, whether it is image or video or document that you can upload so click on new let's say i want to upload an image file so i can go to my uh, directory and upload an image for example this is my image i want to upload so i have uploaded here i can add some keywords but before adding keywords for a image you have to create the keywords uh, first right let's see let's now i don't want to associate any keyword for this uh, library uh, image right i can add multiple files also let me add some uh, documents for example i will go to add some documents let's say this one this is another document here also i can associate some keywords so the benefit of using keywords for a uh, library file is using that keyword you can uh, extract or you can search the documents or images or videos you can add some uh, video files also uh, there is no such video file which is smaller but it is very large but uh, ignore right now i don't want any uh, videos right now but you can upload videos now click on upload as soon as you click on upload the documents that you have selected will be uploaded in uh, library section and that will be available in the dashboard so this is the dashboard where uh, the images are segregated and documents are also segregated and if there is any video that is also segregated right so this is how you can manage the library in marketing content to upload images videos and documents now how to use keywords for this uh, files so go to keywords and create some keywords i can give some keywords let's say uh, image keywords okay or you can see somewhat let's say official the keywords or officials okay official images and click on save here i can associate some files uh, to this uh, keyword okay let's say i want to associate so i have created a officials right now let me get another keyword uh, again let's say uh, compile or design so I have two keywords one is compiler another is official so I can go to the library and uh, open this document and here I can associate some keywords okay so this document is uh, related to compilers so I can associate the keyword right so the uh, associating keywords will help you to search a document while using this document or this file in your marketing execution records, right? Now you can you can also uh, you know uh, associate the keyword for this. Let's say I want to associate a keyword for officers, right? Now it is associated. Now if you open the keyword also it will display all the associated files for that keyword so normally all the files that you upload in library should have a keyword associated with it so that users can search a file using some keywords next is content blocks content blocks is helpful to or to reuse predefined uh, blocks or content blocks or blocks uh, having some content inside that so that can be reused in your marketing pages. Let us create a content. Let's say I want to create a footer content. 
which will be appended in every marketing uh, page. Let's say I want to give a name official footer. And here I want to design. So I can design using some uh, elements here in the right side corner. Right? Let's say I want to take this layout. So I can click that layout. A left side it should display some logo and right side it should display some content. So I can put here. So you see how this uh, uh, displaying two sections one is the smaller uh, width section another is higher width section here i can add some elements let's say i want to display uh, some image and that image will be using my uh, upload image upload to library you can also also use existing url existing images which are from url let me use some existing uh, url of the of an email let's say i want to use this one so i can right click and uh, copy the image url okay let's say let me use uh, let's say this one i want to display in the image so I can right click and copy image address. I can go here and put it here. You can give the URL here and it will automatically render here, right? And here also I can put some uh, component. I can add some text. Can make it bold and change the size also. Okay. I can add more blocks also here. You want to add a text box again below this? I can put some content. Just I'm trying to create a section that's it right here if you want to add some buttons also you can put you can add some dividers and you can put some uh, video if you want otherwise you can add a button here the button can be placed in the left alignment you can change the call button uh, text Okay. And you can link this website uh, button to a URL or you can also associate uh, to an event or to to redirect to a, a Teams uh, page or marketing page or if you want to um, allow uh, downloading a file, you can associate this, right? Let's say you want to redirect to a URL. right now you can click on go live so this way you can create multiple content blocks that can be used in your uh, web pages or in your marketing pages or forms so i have created one content block you can create multiple content block of your choice or as per your business need the preview is displaying on the right side yeah. And in the videos also, you can create some video files here. Let's say I want to create a video. Let's say I want to create a video for this, for example, uh, event planning. I have created this uh, video. I want to copy this link address and use it here. Okay. Then I can provide the video URL. If there is thumbnail URL, you can put here. 
okay and if there is any embed code you can also copy the embed code but embedded code will be available does this person look like you someone who works for hours on microsoft excel or hello everyone welcome to another and you can put here right you can save it now this is how you can save different types of video uh, files inside the uh, video section